Uh, this would be 50 yards for Kevin Kelly, who has won a 52 this year. On the way, plenty of distance. And similarly on defense, power football here at the goal line. Two fullbacks, Waller and Suey, are in there. Pitch, touchdown, easy run for Royster. They set it up beautifully. Well, it was a designed option, and Daryl Clark expect to get hit down there and kind of give with the hit. Get the pitch out of there and give with the hit. But that time, uh, Levy caught him pretty clean. Don't get your cleats planted too deep. <laughs> the point after is good, and the Nittany Lions. Penn State is going to have again. I mean, their defense uh, mm. has been very impressive in this first half, more so than I expected to see. They could really use a big punt out of Norton. Does not kick well in another short, low kick. Look out. See ya. Williams foot race tonight. You called it a low kick. That gave Williams. At least those three different ways. And this crowd is stunned. They have seen. But Penn State used their quickness and leverage to make the play. Third and goal. I don't think Wisconsin can afford to come out of here with a field goal. They have a chance to run. That's what they wanted. And they got it for a touchdown. Todd had he taken advantage of the opportunities he had against Ohio State. That could have been made a huge difference in that ball game. And Penn State with 124 on the clock, make it 129 on the clock. And they have all three of their timeouts, so no problem right here for Daryl Clark. No sense of urgency with those three timeouts. First and goal, quarterback draw. Clark dives on second effort, touchdown. Running. It starts with their offensive line. They've got a quarterback making excellent decisions, and I love their skill players. I mean, they are, they are definitely a force to be reckoned with. But to look down and find the sideline. First and goal, Nittany Lions. Royster is the single setback behind Clark. Clark wants to throw. Quarterback draw. Royster gave him a block. And look at the power of Clark. But they still have some tough games on the road before this thing is all said and done. The Ohio State offense today, but he's running to his left. He just flicks the wrist and throws a perfect pass. It's almost unfair. Clark again after a nice play fake. Wide open. Butler. Touchdown, Penn State. There is a flag down, but I think it's a defensive holding for pass interference because he would the corner was beat so bad he tried to reach out and grab Butler. But he missed. During the play, holding defense number 21. Headley has declined. Touchdown is good. Butler was working on Allen Lankford, and he went a little out and up on him, and Lankford not bad. Mm. And remember, this kid didn't get to play hardly at all the last two years. Deep fried cheese. Come on. We're in Wisconsin. I mean, where, where are the vegetables? You haven't seen a vegetable in two years. Average on the run. It's picked off. Penn State just dominating. Lydell Sargent with his first pick of the year, cut in front of the intended receiver and picked off average. Well, that is some true support yeah. for a team at this kind of game. We know, Holly, they tried to get back in it. On that third down play where Penn State was back in the goal yeah. line and Daryl Clark hit the big play, the crowd was in it for a minute. In a Kelly in charge of the defense for the last several years, but 30 years involved here. Sheer too high and it's picked off. Sergeant again. Intercepted by Sergeant, his second. Sergeant looking for a block across midfield and tripped. Boy, all that stuff. And so the guy that stepped up into that role is Chaz Powell. And he's been kind of a big play guy in limited action so far this year. Royster is back in at tailback. Clark throws, picked off.
receiver as well. He's a very difficult guy to match up with. And I think at the next level, I think you'll get a chance. If he can put on 10 pounds and not lose the speed he has, I think he'll be able to play on Sunday. Sheer sidearmed that one and had it picked. Intercepted by Come on, go back Throw more than you run. Now, I'm, I'll that's concur that's with that. But down at the one with the clock running, 2.55 to go in the game. This is a team that's averaged 44.8 points a game. They'll be at least close to that, if not above it. And Devlin sneaks his way into the end zone. No signal yet, but his waist is over the goal line. So you Your have to assume call. the ball might be for the two guys to commit it from the side. Somebody's going to have to explain this to me without yelling at me. Which might be difficult. The point after for Penn State for the rest of the country. Watch out. The Nittany Lions are back, and they are really, really good this year. The final score, 48.